The first somewhat mainstream MMA games we ever got were the amazingly mediocre UFC games that were released in the early 2000s. Years after that, Dana White would meet up with EA Sports for a potential UFC series of games in the same vein as Madden or FIFA. EA essentially told Dana to kick rocks. This led to the UFC partnering up with THQ, which gave us the very well-received UFC Undisputed series. EA realized their mistake and made their own game, EA Sports MMA, and that game would compete with UFC 2010. These two games were battling it out. But there's a third option that nobody remembers that came out a year later. <laughs> Supremacy MMA was the alternative to the simulation MMA games with their complex controls and glamorous look at the sport. The game has an interesting art style when it comes to the menus and the character design. I dig it. The game has real fighters too, although it's a who's who of who are any of these people. In all seriousness, I know Jens Pulver, who was the first UFC lightweight champion, but if you're looking for star power, then this game ain't it. As far as the arenas go, they're pretty varied. You have your professional looking arenas, but since this game is trying to convey an underground type setting, you also have a fight pit, jail, a dojo, along with different sets of attires too. I'm honestly really impressed here. Then I got to the gameplay. The very first thing you'll notice is that there are health bars. I hate it when there's health bars in wrestling games, boxing games, and MMA games. Isn't one of the funner things about MMA is the fact that the fight can end seemingly at any time? Well, in this game, fights end when the health bar depletes. So this means you can have fights end in the most anticlimactic fashion ever. Oh, a weak little punch to the body from the bottom knocks him out. What did he have, Taco Bell before the fight? This also applies to submissions. If you successfully complete a submission, the fight isn't over, you just take a chunk of health away from your opponent. Then the submission is let go of and you go back into the position you were in. It looks awkward. It looks like a fake fight, like something I'd be watching on Monday or something, I don't know. It's still real to me, damn it! The only way fighters can tap is if a submission depletes the opponent's health fully. I get that this is an arcade, simple experience, but I still find it pretty lame. It's still an MMA game. Having said that, this game is really, really brutal. I mean it. Fighters get their faces bruised and bloody, and if you keep hitting the body, it gets bruised too. This right here is the game's strength, in my opinion. At times, I really do feel like I'm playing something unsanctioned because of the locations and violence. Like, I hope the FBI doesn't find- oh shit. The most brutal thing are the broken bones. Now, I'm gonna show these, and I'm warning you, they're pretty bad. Were you in stomp? Wine making 101. Oh, I'm hurt. Oh, my neck. Is he dead? My fucking balls. Yes. yes. I know I saw it. My man. I think I'll be the bigger man now. Walk away. Walk away. <laughs> Safe to say I lost this one. Uh, oh, holy sh- Told you I wasn't messing around, man. But let's just say this game is kind of like cotton candy. It looks kind of cool, but then you partake and it's like, uh... Each fighter has different styles, and not everyone has access to the same moves. Wrestlers and jujitsu fighters have more throws than boxers and kickboxers do. Boxers only throw punches. You get the idea. The CPU fighter does a pretty good job at utilizing their fighter specialties. They're not going to be using a boxer to grapple, for instance. It all goes downhill from here, though, like Tony Hawk's downhill jam. 
minus Tony Hawk and the jam part. So just downhill in case you didn't get it. That was funny stuff. Firstly, animations can look jank as all hell. Stiff and uncomfortable is what I'd call it. Much like me in the morning. This makes blocking strikes, which you do with the left stick by the way, really more difficult than it needs to be. Circle is your counter button. You use this to counter strikes, grapples, and submissions. It works well and you can even be like the Empire and strike back after a counter if you press X on time. The stand-up just sucks though. I end up throwing random combos without any thought behind it. There is a combo list, but it's really nothing you need to concern yourself with. There's this uh, rage meter, I guess. I forget what they call it, but when you activate it, your attacks are way more powerful and time slows down so you can counter attacks. This mode also lets you get those brutal slow-mo knockouts like I showed earlier. There are clinches and groundwork, but it's actually worse. In an effort to make a simple alternative to the other MMA games, Supremacy MMA makes a system that's even worse. But hey, at least there's elbows, so you already know it's better than UFC 4. You press X to clinch and you use the left stick to advance to a better position. But the left stick also blocks attacks, so you get where this is going. There are times where you want to transition, but you block, and there are times where you want to block, but you transition. You have all these other buttons on the controller. Use them! It's the same for the ground as well, by the way. Depending on the fighter you have, the X button will do different actions. Strikes, slams, submissions. When you go for a submission, this degenerate mini game comes up where you have to rapidly move the right stick back and forth, as if you're playing a Mario Party mini game. There are times where I don't even bother because I don't want to break my stick, especially since I'm using a cheapo third party controller. And like I also mentioned before, submissions don't end a fight, they just take away a bit of health. And that's the gameplay aspect. It can be fun for like 30 minutes before it gets old, but there's more to this game. Fighters have their own story modes. They use the cool art style like I mentioned before, but every story has the same rags to riches story where you start fighting in the unsanctioned underground or jail to big time arenas. Only difference being slight variations to them. The voice acting here is pretty bad, especially when the voice acting is so low and the music is so loud that you can barely hear it. But shit man, that bitch is dead. But you don't got the components to finish. But I'll fix that. One thing I got what? Is time. I can't hear I'm you. Sure. Each story, you basically fight a ladder of opponents until you're done. This is where you realize you can cheese the hell out of the AI. Just get the fight to the ground and just beat them and occasionally block a transition. Look, I can even do it with one hand. Don't ask what I'm doing with the other one. You can also just keep spamming circle to get up and there's nothing you can do about it. This is some great looking gameplay here, right? Guess what? The CPU is the one who's constantly spamming circle here. Not me. I'm dead serious. Even the computer cheeses. Something I neglected to mention is the music, by the way. It's 100% ear bleedingly bad. I guess they were going for this underground metal feel like the rest of the game, but the music sounds like someone was microwaving a guitar rather than actually playing it. Some endings are freaking odd as all hell. Look at this one. That was some show back there. Yeah, well maybe it taught him a lesson. You didn't actually read that newspaper I gave you, did you? What are you talking about? Think about Dante beating his wife and kid? Bullshit, I made it up. What? You were about to give up, remember? Then you got mad and you got here. Some days I wish I'd have never brought you on. I ever tell you that? Only every other day. And the Emmy goes to... Supremacy MMA. Then there's this one that kinda had my attention. This guy has been fighting just so he can get back with this girl. Fight, I win, I get the money, I get the girl. Good, good. Now we talking. Now he's about to see her in a climactic ending. We are a long ass way from home. Go get it. I fought. I won. I got the money. And now. Wow. 
Wow, I can't believe I was blue balled by Supremacy MMA. There's the Femme Fatales mode. This game is the first game to have female MMA fighters, which was notable in 2011. The game got some press because of this, and you could tell they were proud of it because they even have it on the back of the box. So there's probably a well thought out mode here. Yeah, no. This is literally an exhibition mode, but with just women. And there are only two women to select from. Ooh, yeah. What, did they run out of budget? I actually know who Felice Herrick is, so that's cool. They both have their own stories too. So you might be asking yourself, how can they have a story mode when there's only one other woman to fight? And that's a good question. You have a fight with that one woman, then you immediately have a rematch with the same person, and that's it. If you're gonna be the first at something, don't do it half-assed. It's like if I were to buy a pepperoni pizza, but the whole pie has like one pepperoni on it. I guess you got me on a technicality, but that isn't a good analogy because I still enjoy pizza and I don't enjoy this. We have online modes too, but the servers are more empty than a WNBA championship raid. Good luck finding a fight. From what I found on YouTube, online play looks god awful, and I highly doubt they made server improvements. You can check out the leaderboards, and the second ranked player in the world only has two wins. Way to retire on top, buddy. I don't know what SR is, but it's literally off the charts. The lack of activity on the leaderboards just shows how unpopular this game was. Supremacy MMA came out with no fanfare, got panned by critics, then vanished like Aang did before the Hundred Year War. Does anyone remember this, have nostalgia for it, or anything? The developer Kung Fu Factory went on to make the Bellator MMA game, which I covered in another video. It's practically the same game, but it takes out the over-the-top violence, arenas, attires, and finishing moves, which was the only thing Supremacy MMA had going for it. Supremacy MMA is a long forgotten game, but there's one interesting thing about it, and the most interesting thing about it is... Thank you guys for watching. I'm not gonna tell you to like the video or anything because you're all grown, do your thing. Check out my other stuff if you want and see ya.